hosting. Let's talk about it. It's a very important part of owning a website. There's not many things you have to pay for, but hosting is one you will need to pay for, and it's recommended that you do. If you don't, you're going to get a terrible host. And even if you do pay, you can get a poor host. How do I know? It's happened to me. I got a bad host, and then I transferred all my sites to a new host, and it was bad again. So then I transferred it a third time, and thankfully I found a host that is now home and I plan to continue to use. So in this video, I wanted to go over and let you know who I use for hosting because people have asked and they also have a really good discounted plan right now as the release of this video. So because of that, I was like, you know, this is a lot of money off they're giving and I wanted to do a video to cover it. Now, if you've found this video later on, it probably won't be as good of a discount, but they usually do give discounts through my link. I am an affiliate and you'll find it down below. Right now they are giving 80% off your first year annually for this plan. Keep in mind after that prices will go up and normalize, but they give you the first year really nice and cheap. That way you can kind of test the waters and see if blogging is for you. Now this is a premium hosting area. So this is not going to be, you know, cheap where you don't get a lot of cool features. You're going to get a lot of nice stuff. And because of that, it does cost more after the first year. So with that, let's dive onto the computer so I could talk some more and show you more about it. I'd like to just show you some speed just to give you an idea. Now I am using a Zoic cloud for the uh, websites that I'm going to show you, but the speed works really well. I mean, yeah, look at the scores there. And then let's go over to href and you can look at the health scores and I have lots of them. Lots of my sites are in the high nineties and I do have two that are a hundred here. So that gives you an idea of how nice everything is running. So who is my host? My host is SiteGround and SiteGround, like I said, does have a great deal going on right now. Let me show you the information and I'll go a little further into things. So I received this email saying on June 27th, the promotion goes and we are looking at 80% off for annual shared hosting plans, which is great. And then free website transfers for all plans. And you can see the prices down below, depending where you're at. You can go ahead and start off with startup 12 month or the grow big 12 month. I'm going to go over these plans, but startup is if you're just doing one website and grow big is for unlimited websites. So it's a big jump there from going to regular up into unlimited. I went with the unlimited because I have like 15, 20 sites on this host and I haven't had any problems. I see people have problems with their websites not loading or down or something like that. I don't have those issues. So very nice. <laughs> Let's go ahead and dive a little further in. This just gives you an idea. Now this isn't the pricing. This is just me clicking on it. So the regular discounted startup would be 15 a month after your first year, then 25 on Grow Big, and then 40 on Go Geek. Now, Go Geek is pretty large. I don't think you're going to need that unless you have a very large website because it is 400,000 visits a month. And Startup is one website, 10,000. And then Grow Big was unlimited and 100,000 visits per month. Of course, with this, you can go ahead and use WordPress and you will get the WordPress dashboard as I show in all my videos. All of that's good. So if you're looking for WordPress, this is great. You also get free email account, CDN and SSL certification and daily backups. Yes, you heard that right. They back up every day, all your sites for you for free. So if you have a problem down the line, you don't have to worry about, did I run a backup? Because they run the backup every day and it's very easy to restore from it. I've had to do it a few times and it's really convenient that you can do that. So here you can take a look and see everything that's available, security, speed, domain. So they don't have a C panel for say, this is their C panel because it's more advanced and it's newer. C panel is kind of outdated now. So a lot of it has gone away. 
but in each one of these menus, you can do whatever you would need to do. That is not reliant on WordPress itself, kind of like your admin area. They're also having a 50% off on site scanner and the premium CDN if you'd be interested. Not a whole lot more to say about SiteGround. It's very good. The tech support is awesome. I would say about 80% of the people that I've spoke to, if not maybe even 85, are very well knowledge in working with tech support, especially with website stuff. A lot of times I've got some answers that I thought were incorrect and come to find out I was incorrect, which to be honest, that doesn't happen often because I've worked tech support so long. So now when I do go ahead and contact them, I make sure I'm nice and patient and I try all of their ideas. You can do it from within their site and you can do it by email or chat box 24 seven. How do I rate SiteGround? Well, I would say I like it a lot. I would probably say nine out of 10. You know, there's not much bad I could say about it. It's fast, it works, it's always up, it's smooth. I mean, if anything, Maybe I could bring the price down a little bit. That's why it lost one point, but that's about it. Everything else I really enjoy about it. I don't plan on leaving or moving unless I'd find something really cheap down the line that is as high standard as this. Remember, this is a premium service and they're always adding new things to make them even better. If you have any questions specifically about SiteGround that I haven't answered in this video, I might have missed it. Just go ahead and comment down below and I will do my best to answer it for you. I, like I said, I've been using them for a few years now. If you're curious who I started off with, I started off the worst of the worst, which is GoDaddy. I was a noob, that's why. Don't ever get anything from GoDaddy except domain names. <laughs> the rest of their service is terrible. But after that, I did go ahead and transfer to HostGator after someone recommended it, and it was cumbersome. Basically, HostGator didn't let you have any access to the admin area. No C panel, no nothing. You had to do a ticket each time you need to do something. And I was like, this is insane. Am I going crazy here or what? As soon as I found that out, I did find SiteGround not far after that. And I joined there and the rest is history. A great starting plan. I remember getting in really cheap in the beginning. I was like, wow, you're, I'm only paying this for the first year. Uh, it was amazing. And the cool thing is, after the first year, if you're no longer interested, you could transfer somewhere else. Heck, you could transfer before that if you want. If there is any issues, you could always contact them and they will work through it with you. But as far as I'm concerned, I haven't had any issues and that I couldn't take care of with them. Anyway. Nothing else to say. Let me know if you have any questions and thank you so much for the view. Again, the link's down below if you're interested and you're looking for a solid hosting plan.